Appalachian is such a huge part, I think, because um, sort of where I grew up, um, where I grew up in mm-hmm. Colorado, it still is a huge part of life. Like um, my parents mm-hmm. come home from work. Uh, they're both teachers and they turn on the TV. <laughs> kind of. wow. And um, yeah. what happens in their night is kind of what happens on TV, um, exactly. which exactly. I think is a really interesting way to live and an interesting way mm-hmm. to see the world. Um, and I've also been fascinated with like, when you have a TV in your house, anything can enter your room through it. You know, yeah. you don't have that much control over what you see or what it wants mm-hmm. to show you. So it's like um, this very ordinary thing that's also a portal into uh, the strange rest of the world. Um, I think A values her own independence a lot, which is part of why mm-hmm. um, she's so vulnerable to um, an infringement upon her identity by her roommate. Right. Um, if she were easier going about it, I think that she and B could just keep on living together. B would resemble her a little bit more, but if she didn't care, it wouldn't be a problem. And um, mm-hmm. her life would go on in the same path, right? But um, mm-hmm. because she's not, like, she, she's a consumer in the classic sense. Like, she sees something that makes sense to her, yeah. she'll buy it. And when you buy something, you take it out of the store, you take it back to your own house, and you're alone with it, essentially. Like, the mm-hmm. people that you were with when you were at the store, whose company maybe you enjoyed, like, are gone. Um, and then B has this more, um, in some ways, like, she has the attitude that would help A become more connected to her world. Like, she, she needs people. She really mm-hmm. needs people. She wants to need them, and she expresses how much she needs different things from them. Um, right. So when you borrow something from someone, uh, you bind yourself to them. You have an obligation to them in the future. They have an obligation to you. Suddenly they're sort of taking care yeah. of you, and that means they'll probably take care mm-hmm. of you in times to come. Um, but it, even though like B is, um, you know, in some ways the weaker character, and in some ways the um, the one who's threatening A's life, threatening her position exactly. in her own life. Uh, she also has a solution that A could use if she could see it for binding mm-hmm. herself more closely to the world and getting connected to the things around her. Yeah, and it's just yeah. A can't even see that happening. 